so today I'm going to be doing my January favorites video and unfortunately I guess I'm not very much of an interesting person because I don't really like to change the things that I'm using all the time. Um, if I find something that works for me and something that I really really like I tend to use it until either it stops working or I'm just so tired and sick of it that I just have to buy something new. And that's exactly the reason why I didn't do a December favorites video for you guys. The last favorites video that I did was um, my November favorites and since then I haven't really been using anything new or been experimenting with new things and I didn't have anything to share with you guys but this month you're in luck. I think every single thing that I'm going to show you is completely new. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. The very first thing that I have to share with you guys is probably something that you've been seeing a lot from me. And it's the eyeshadow from MAC called Satin Taupe. You guys can see that. Ah, sorry. <laughs> I just hit my cat in the face with my eyeshadow. But yeah, this color is such a lovely color to experiment with. It's like a taupey brown, but also there's a tiny bit of purple in there. At least that's what I think. This color has definitely been one of my favorites for the winter season in general. I love just playing around with it. Um, sometimes I just wear it by itself. I'll put it all over the lid, work it up into the crease. Um, sometimes, like today, I'm just putting it into the crease of my eye. This is such a versatile color, and it's just great for the winter season because it's like a darker, um, I don't even know like it just has that feel of winter to it so yeah um, this has definitely been one of my top favorites this season and then along with that eyeshadow I have also been extremely loving the Coastal Sense 88 warm palette and I've been basically doing all of my past tutorials I think the past two tutorials that I've done it has been with this palette and it's just all of these gorgeous neutral warm toned colors and they're so great to just play around with. Um, they're great for everyday wear. The makeup that I'm wearing right now was actually with this and Satin Taupe. So I've been really, really loving this. This was, a Chris this was a Christmas present to me, and it's just been stealing my heart. Next, I have a nail polish that I'm wearing right now. Um, they're starting to chip. But yeah, it's a nail polish from Sephora by OPI, and this is called Metro Chic. This is also a really lovely taupe color um, to wear on the nails. It's very chic and very high fashion, but it just totally matches the winter season. And yeah, I've been loving to wear this this month. Um, it goes with every single outfit. It's neutral. And this is also something that I've just been wearing to death this month, so this is definitely one of my favorites. Next, for my hair, since it's the middle of the winter season, my hair tends to get very, very dry, and since I have very long hair, my ends are very prone to breaking and splitting and all that nasty stuff, so I've actually been using Macadamia, the healing oil treatment, every single day religiously. It looks like this, and I'm sure that everyone has seen this along the way at some point here on YouTube because there's so many good reviews on this stuff. Basically, it's an oil, obviously, but what I do is that when I get out of the shower, I towel dry my hair, and then after I let my hair down, I take a small amount of that. I literally just take off the cap, press the top of it to my palm like that, turn it over, and then whatever's left on my palm, I work it into my hands and then just spread it throughout my hair on the ends, concentrating it on the ends. And then I'll just let my hair air dry because I typically never use heat on it. Like I rarely, 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 probably once or twice a month will I put heat on my hair. And as you can see, today is one of those days because I woke up and my hair is not really working with me so I decided to straighten it. But yeah, this is definitely a great product. I do recommend this for anyone who has dry or split ends. This is such a good product. Next for the winter season, I have just been loving carrying around any lip balm with me. This is the Burt's Bees Beeswax Lip Balm. And also I have the Blistex medicated mint lip balm and I am a lip balm freak like I always love lip balm I, I prefer lip balm over any lipstick or lip gloss or anything for so it's nothing new for me to be using lip balm but because my lips are really dry right now because of the winter this has really been a lifesaver just always having it on me and being able to use it whenever my lips feel dry it's definitely a good thing to have one of my all-time favorites for this month since I've purchased it basically has been the MAC Studio Sculpt 
concealer and this was in the color NW20 which I said when I purchased this it was a little bit too light for me as you can see it looks like it doesn't match my skin tone at all but what I do is I apply a little tiny amount of this underneath my eyes and it really just makes my eyes appear brighter and it covers any dark circles that I may have but yeah I really like the consistency of this product it's very very thick and creamy um, if you have dry skin I might not recommend this because it is a little bit drying but if you work a little bit of moisturizer or any type of cream with this product and apply that underneath your eyes, um, it shouldn't be a problem. And again, for my dry skin, I have been absolutely adoring the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. And it's basically this humongous tub of cream. And it's so thick that when I hit it or anything like that, it doesn't fall out. That's how thick it is. And what I've been using this for, uh, as gross as it may sound, has been for my eyelids because... I have very oily skin, I think I've said that a million times already, but the one place that I do get dry in the winter is unfortunately on my eyelids. My eyelids will peel and just become so flaky and disgusting that whenever I put on eyeshadow, my eyeshadow is literally flaking off into pieces with my skin. So it's just not fun. So what I do is at night, since this is a little bit thick for me and I have oily skin, I'll just apply a little tiny amount of this all over my eyelid and then within a few days, literally like two, three days, my eyelids were cured of their dryness and ugliness. And the candle that I've been absolutely loving this month has been the Frosted Cupcake Candle from Bath & Body Works and it literally smells like a frosted cupcake. It just smells absolutely delicious and I love it and as you can see it's almost gone. And lastly I've been absolutely loving the St. Ives Oatmeal and Shea Butter Moisturizing Lotion. And I am actually not a lotion girl. I know that's really bad, especially for the winter. Um, you definitely need lotion. You need to moisturize your skin and everything, but I've never been in the habit to apply lotion at all. Like, never after I shave, after I get out of the shower, never. I, I've, I've never really been a lotion person. So, um, my skin has actually become really dry and kind of scaly after I get out of the shower. So, I've broken my habit and after I get out of the shower, when my skin is still moist, I apply this all over my body. And I'm really thankful that I do it because um, it's actually very, very hydrating and comfortable. And I, I know that a lot of you guys are probably like, well, duh. But without lotion, um, sometimes when I bend over, like if I have to pick something up, the skin on my lower back is so dry that I can actually feel it like pulling away from each other and it's very uncomfortable and itchy. So I'm glad that I've been using this because it just ensures that I'm very comfortable and it's definitely helped a lot. January favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I've been loving this month. Um, let me know if you guys have any requests. Please leave me your comments and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!